No proper tour of the Sudbury Arena would be complete without starting out front where Stompin' Tom's statue stands. It's a Sudbury Saturday night. And if the door that I propped open doesn't stay open, this is gonna be the shortest video of all. But I love the look of this arena from outside. It's a classic. It's got character inside, which you're about to see. And this probably looks a little bit familiar if you're a fan of Letter Kenny and Shorzy. One more thing to show you before we go inside here, and that is this cornerstone. This cornerstone is exactly the same as you'll see at the Memorial Auditorium in Kitchener. So both of these buildings opening in the same year. Let's take you inside this one now at the Sudbury Arena. And I lucked out the door I propped open was left open and let's go in. For me, this is the, the kind of piece de resistance of this arena. I just love this classic foyer, the green, which of course used to be wolves colors. They look a little different in the modern day. Worth pointing out, 50th anniversary for the club this year. So here's the main area when you walk in. You come up those stairs and into the bowl we go. Some minor hockey. It's a girls game going on out on the ice as we get set for Rangers and Wolves tonight. Got to take you over this way just so we get a better view. There's the queen off in the distance there. You see her on the end wall. You always know you're in the North Country when there's a portrait of the queen at the arena. But for me, I got to take you down this way at the Sudbury Arena because this is the place <laughs> that you really want to see or the, the feature, let's say, that you really want to see at this arena. Over here in this corner, So it's not here on the concourse, it's up here in the rafters. You see that? We'll come around the other side so you can get a better view of its teeth and its menacing look. There is the famous stuffed wolf. I think it's been looking a little mangy these last few years, but when the wolves score, it goes on a wire and out over the ice. If they ever get a new arena, they might need a new wolf, but as things stand, that's how it works here in Sudbury, and it's a really classic feature of the arena. All right, we'll duck down a set of stairs here, and then take you into the bowels here of the arena. We'll get downstairs and I'll show you why this place reminds me even more of the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium, both built, as I said, in 1951. When you're loading and unloading in this place, they've got these ramps. We've done this many times in the middle of the night when arriving into the city for a game the next day. Park the bus outside, everybody off, grab a bag, down the ramps, into the arena. And off we go. I'm going to take you down here to my left. Take you towards the Wolves room. But just, I mean, these walls, I always make sure I run my hand along them because they remind me of the walls we have back in Kitchener at the auditorium. If you're under the, uh, under the seats in Kitchener, you get this exact same vibe with the painted brick. Or the painted blocks, really. And all of these are little tunnels out to the rink. Get you around this way. The difference is at the odd nowadays, none of this stuff downstairs, of course, is used anymore. But they've got concessions down here and the works for all the creature comforts and for the fans. Good look here at the official team shop. There you go for all your Wolves merch. And again, just another way, look out onto the ice. And then we'll come down here past the Wolves dressing room. And 
head over this way down to the coach's room. We're about uh, three hours from game time right now, so the arena is going to start to fill up in a little bit. One place I wanted to make sure I got on this little tour is up to the press box where we call the game from. So this is just going all the way around underneath the stands and we're going to head upstairs to where they have their suites. That's where we're headed next. A little bit of storage down here. Sorry guys, just taking a little tour here. <laughs> along here one more time take you down to what is the visitors room getting close to Zamboni entrance of course and you'll see that right over here they do use the Zamboni here as opposed to the Olympia ice resurfacing machine out of Waterloo region. I like those ones. All right, so now we're down in the visitor's area, which of course tonight is the kitchen arrangers. And ben is working his tail off and Danny's around here somewhere working his tail off. And me, I'm walking around with a camera. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly hop up the stairs. Well, as quickly as my old legs move because I did wanna show you it's another interesting feature of this arena. So when we get up to the top, we're gonna to be in the suites area. So now I'll just pop that back out here real quick for a look. Here we are above the seats on the other side of the building from where we started. The wolf is over there that we looked at. The queen, she's right there. And now let's tuck ourselves into here we're so early for the game, the lights aren't even on yet, but there's a bar here for the suites. Suites are on this side as we go down the way. Sorry for the lack of light here, but we will emerge in a moment. And now, the fun stuff. We get here, and then to get to our broadcast location, I think they call these stairs, but I don't know that I would call them stairs. To me, they're a little bit on the frightening side, very steep, not something I enjoy doing. Push that gate open, and just to give you the idea, that's where we just came up. Over here, we've got our broadcast cameras being set up down below, there we go. And here is where the radio magic happens. And if you can survive that climb, you end up with a pretty good look at the ice. And that is a little behind the scenes at the Sudbury Arena, built the same year, same cornerstone as the Memorial Auditorium and Kitchener.